I'm Mark Taylor. I'm a chainsaw carving artist. I'm based here at Fosway Fuels here in Leicestershire. So before I was a chainsaw carver, I was a milkman. I worked for Kirby and West. I worked there for 16 years. I always wanted to do something else anyway, something artistically um, for a job. But uh, it's how do you do an artistic job? I started in 2014. I seen some chainsaw carvers at work at uh, a local uh, country show and I'd never really seen that up close and personal what they were doing with their chainsaws and the things that they were making just fabulous. I think that's where I got the bug, the, the sort of idea, give it a go. <laughs> it's one of those moments. So eventually I, I got round to to having a go at chainsaw carving and uh, to be fair I wasn't very good at it um, but I knew it was something I wanted to do I just got that feeling that this 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 works it works for me and I thought keep at it don't stop and see what happens I love carving birds of prey owls I like I love doing the, the, the faces of the old men and trying to give them expression. And, and I love looking at them. Even though I've carved it, I'll, I'll come in the next day and think, wow, that's worked, that's really worked. It, it can be very, very delicate, so delicate. You, you wouldn't believe a chainsaw could be that delicate. It's still a bit of wood at, at the end of the day, so you, you know, you've got to be, you're in for a bit of a fight with some of it. When I finish with it, it doesn't stop forming. It will age, it will weather, it will discolour a little bit, it will turn grey, it will crack a little bit. Um, nature's still working on it, I suppose, like when it was a tree. So in that brief interval that I've got hold of it and I can turn it into something and then it'll sit in someone's garden or wherever and then the elements will just take it back and create something else with it.